Here we are, back down in Gan Main, getting ready to do our next restoration. So we're here at uh, Baldo's Collectibles, and this is where those uh, two signs are that I was talking about before. So Angus is still with us, and he's up on the ute there, getting the scaffold ready. As you can see, this is that Kinkara sign that we were discussing earlier. Up the top up there, you can see the old R.H. Hankinson for friendly service. Now where it gets a bit tricky is the um, Kinkara tea bit. And you have to be here on a certain time of the day to see the, the full extent of the lettering. The best is still there, obviously. If we get up here a bit closer... You can see just in between here and here there's that black band or that that arc that runs up that way and back up there and then in the middle there you can sort of make out the E but yeah I've been here a few different times and um, had a look at it at a couple of different times of the day and I've been been able to see it a bit clearer than what we can today it's got full Sun at the moment so anyway we're gonna get up there we'll whack a couple of nails in there and fix that at some stage the whole wall's been painted in silver frost so you can still see all the old so they would have painted out the old signs and it's all broken down and worn away so we'll get rid of the rest of it clean the whole wall up and um yeah get it underway while i'm here i'll give you a quick look at the the other sign just walk back this way a bit you can see over the fence over there it runs along that whole side wall so but once we get access to the yard I'll um, give everyone a better look at that one but our main aim at this stage is to bring this one back to life so stay tuned let's go Gussie we're just moving a bit of stuff here and I just found something cool I've been here I don't know how many times look at this job over the years um, before it was actually a job and since it's become a, a project, but uh, countless times I've tried to investigate and I've never ever noticed the name of the sign writer. And it was there's a bit of stuff leaning up against the wall here and I've literally just spotted it. I can't quite make it out. But the number at the end looks like it says 51. S dot L dot. S maybe a... B E hmm. can't quite make it out, but I'll get it home and I'll um, get it up, bring it up on my computer, and hopefully we can identify exactly what that says. What a ripper! Love finding stuff like that. Another piece of the puzzle. Another thing that confirms that this is a Kinkara T sign <clears throat> and that we do have the colours right is that, um, like I said, numerous times I've been here before, I have seen little skerricks of paint here and there. And where I'm trying to mark out the Kinkara T, um, yeah, you can just see there's bits of red and stuff under there coming through, so we're pretty confident that we're on the right track here. We're giving Angus a bit of a crack here to have a go at the marking out. It's a good way to um, learn how, how the uh, letters work. So, yeah, we want him to be fairly involved in these as, as time goes on. So, the only way for that to happen is to let him get up there and have a bit of a crack. So, he's uh, marking out the R.H. Hankinson and Co. And once that's done, um, yeah, we're basically ready to give this wall a proper prep. And um, we'll start putting paint on tomorrow as long as it doesn't rain. So, all good. bit hard to see but we're all finished here for day one it hasn't been a big day we didn't get down here until late um, but today was basically prep day mark out day and we've had a win by finding that Kinkara which we've got all marked out there I don't know if you can see it it's a bit hard to see on my camera here. 
So basically, we've marked everything out like you would have seen we've done on previous signs. It's all ticked in, ready to go. The whole face has been sanded of all uh, loose paint and flaky paint, so it's all gone. And we've got a tap here, so we're actually pretty lucky this time. So we've managed to, um, we've actually washed and broomed the whole wall down. So coming tomorrow, it's all clean and um, ready to go. The only issue we've found is with this Kinkara, it's not running square to anything. It's actually fairly crooked. So I don't know if it was marked out crooked to start off with or what the story is. We've measured it from the bottom of the corrugate and it runs crooked. We've also measured it from that line in the corrugate and it runs crooked to that as well. So um, it slowly gets bigger as it goes from that one end to the other. But we found all the base lines and we've just followed them. So we can only assume that it was done crooked originally. So let's see how she's going to be. Anyway, um, we've got to go get some paint organised. Gussie's just loading up the ute now. And um, yeah, we're back tomorrow to slap some paint on. It's the bit we love. Right, Ape. Catch us. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> back on site down here at Gamayan and it's going to be a warm one. Uh, yes, so when we finished up we'd washed all this wall and got it all prepped up so today we're ready to start putting the paint on and as you can see Angus is already into it. Um, so based off a bit of research that we've done on Kinkara and, and um, their logos and stuff we we've, that's what we've based the colours off and you can see there was a bit of cream up along the top there before um, and just evidence that we've found on the sign um, in the gaps and beyond the corrugated iron but yeah so we're good to go I'm going to start working on the actual Kinkara part of the sign and as I mentioned yesterday we've noticed that the sign is fairly crooked um, I'm not sure why but it's definitely yeah not straight to the wall um, and we've made the decision to just leave it as it was because that's in my opinion sticking true to the restoration so we'll go with that um, yeah we'll see how it looks when it's done but it is what it is, uh, whoever originally done it, done it crooked for whatever reason, so anyway, let's start getting some paint on. A bit more progress, Angus is just finishing up the um, filling in around the A before we have a bit of a break and have some lunch. Um, yeah, you can see how pretty obvious here now that Kinkara is running on that angle, but who knows why, it is what it is. It's not how I would have done it, but anyway. So yeah, starting to get a bit of colour on. I've just got to duck across the road over here and go see Willie Kemmer for a bit. So we'll be back soon. Catch up. As you can see, we've only just started marking it out. But it's um, becoming a pretty dominant sign already. This goes to show, you know, what sort of impact this sort of sign and riding had back in the day as a brilliant way of advertising brands. Anyway, lunchtime. Right, oh, we're just about finished up here for our second day, and which is actually Melbourne Cup Day, so happy Melbourne Cup Day, everyone. We didn't get a chance to even put a bed on today, we've been stuck down here, but anyway. Um, that's how it's starting to look, it's only had one coat yet, but yeah, she's um, come along nicely. So tomorrow we're going to bring back the scuff, we're going to build it up that little bit higher, and um, yeah, do the same thing on the top. Once we've finished first coat on the top, we will then start second coating from the top and work our way all the way back down to the bottom. There's a few little things in that car I want to tidy up. Um, I think the some of the strokes in the A are a little bit thin. Um, but yeah, it's just things that we can work on as we, now that we can see them properly. So, but while I've got you, I'll just show you the next part of this sign. Taking on a bit of an, a bit of a bulldoze adventure. Sorry, getting smashed by the gates. I thought Angus was helping me there. Um, this is the next one to be restored. And as you can see, we've got our work cut out. You can see old lettering 
all the way through there, which we're going to have to work out what, what that says. The paint's fairly flaky in places. But, and as you get along here further, sorry, it's got to make my way through here. You can see there's also been sheets of tin replaced in a couple of spots down there further as well. But, it's going to be a pretty big sign. There's all text that goes all the way across the top there, which we'll have to work out what it says. Just trying to work out what that word is. P-E-A-P. I'm pretty confident it's peanut. And I'm sure it'd say butter there somewhere. Bean eater, I'm guessing. But anyway, we will work that out. So that's us for today. Hope you picked a winner on the Melbourne Cup. Yo! Good morning everyone. We're back on deck down here in Ganmean. We're about to hook back into this Kinkara T-Sign. So we brought the scaffold down today. To make it a bit easier because we've got to get right up to that top corner against the wall and the trestles have been a bit of a pain in the bum. So yeah, we'll get it set up. Angus is going to get the sandpaper out and he's going to go right across that um, bit of timber at the top and prep it, prime it and get ready to paint it as well. I'm going to start cutting in the top letters um, and we'll get the whole top first coated and then like I said yesterday, once that's done, we'll second coat from the top down until it's finished. So I'm not sure whether we'll get it done today, but if we can get that top bit done and at least, you know, maybe the red second coated today, um, happy days, which means we'll come back Thursday if it's not raining and finish it off. So, all right, we'll get into it. Sky starting to get a bit interesting. Oh, there's a bit of blue. Let's hope that rain holds off. Give us a thumbs up, Gussie. So today's Wednesday. We're about two and a half days in, um, and if we get a good day tomorrow, this will be finished. So. The orange for friendly service is all finished. All the cream up the top is second coated and finished. We just got a um, sign right R.H. Hankinson and Co. in black. Um, sign right the best in black. And then basically second coat the cream at the bottom. And um, tidy a few things up on Kinkara. But it's all but there. So yeah, wasn't a bad day today. The weather held off which was good. And we didn't have the sun on our back which was pleasant. So um, yeah, that was a good day for sign rotting. So... Alright, hopefully it doesn't rain tomorrow and we'll be back to um, get this done. Talk soon. I brought 
the foreman back to check it out today so he's just on his way to daycare and thought he'd better come and do the inspection himself hey cope yeah. what do you reckon do you, like, do you like dad's sign yeah you gonna be a sign rider maybe and uh, all good <clears throat> there's no run so it was pretty warm when it was starting to rain yesterday so i was sort of confident that we should be right but by the time I got back to Coolman, it was raining pretty heavy, so there was that element of doubt that um, the rain would have set in and washed it all off, but yeah, all good, so we're not going to try and put on any paint on today, it's um, yeah, it's a terrible day here, I think it's forecast thunderstorms at about midday and rain all day, so but anyway, I just wanted to double check that it hadn't run, so happy days, hopefully we'll be back Friday. See, here we go. Gotcha. We're back down here in Gan Main. It's uh, Friday, so we missed a day because of the uh, thunderstorms yesterday. Um, there is forecast thunderstorms today and Saturday and Sunday, but it seems to be a bit of a break in the weather, so we're taking the opportunity to try and get this thing finished. Hopefully, we can, we can only try. So, uh, Angus is just unlocking now. We'll get all the trestles and planks set up. He's going to start second coating the second half of the cream, the bottom half. I'm going to get into that Kinkara, second coat it, tidy up a few things. And then basically, we just got to put the black in for the RH Hankinson and Co. And the best there in the bottom corner. So, fingers crossed, we have a, a good run and the, the weather doesn't slow us down. We can get this thing finished today. It'd be... Um, I'd love to have it done before the weekend, so... Anyway, let's get into it. Things are starting to look pretty grimy. We're still pushing on at the moment. I've checked the radar. And we seem to be clear at the moment, but... Jesus, I'm not feeling real confident at the moment. Just keep pushing on. Hope for the best. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera. The bloody rain's starting to set in. It's not real heavy, it's just a bit of a mist at the moment, but I'm not too sure whether it's going to blow over or... So we've stopped painting for the for the minute, we might um, go grab a, a bit of smoko, have something to eat, and just, um, just ride it out for a little bit. There's nothing really showing on the uh, radar, so I'm hoping it's just going to blow past and we can get back into it. But anyway, the joys of it. Uh, we have weathered the storm, so to speak, today, and um, got pretty nasty there for a bit, but we sat it out and it's passed. It's even a bit of a blue sky up there, so there's a good chance it might rain this afternoon, but we will be done and dusted by then. So basically, everything is done except for the best. And caution, here comes a dad joke, but I've saved the best for last. <laughs> um, all the black's done, Gussie's just doing a few touch ups. Um, but yeah, we'll get that, that last bit there done, and it's basically, well actually, one thing we do need to do is work out what we're going to do with old mate's name, just there. So for the time being, we've just kind of gone around it, and I'm not sure what to do there yet, but anyway, we'll figure that out, but almost finished. Yoo! -hoo! It's it, we're done. Everything is finished, touched up, ready to go. Whew! Friday afternoon too, by the time we pack up here it's going to be beer o'clock and I think we've earned one this week so that is it we'll clean up the area and I'll make one more video but um yeah that's basically Kinkara done and dusted what do you reckon Angus, how do you reckon that job went? pretty good, pretty good what was your best bit? get up high up high? you hate heights? no I thought you might have said um when we found that Kinkara bit I know it's a bit of history. Yeah. Jeez, you just love the camera, don't you? <laughs> As a sign, there's a few things I'm not real happy with this one. Some of the, the letters um, just aren't quite right. I'm not sure who the sign writer was or whoever sign wrote it in the first place, but we've done our best to go as close to what the original one was, so any imperfections we've left in it. Um, like I mentioned originally, the Kinkara is on a fairly big angle. Um, it's not too obvious, but it definitely is, we've measured it. Um, just some of the letter styles aren't, aren't perfect, but they are what they are, and 
from what we can tell this was done in the 50s so yeah it's been there a while so it was good to find it and unearth it and bring it back to life again so stay tuned for our next project um, which will be starting next week so catch us later this is another um, project funded by the Coolman Shire Council um, it's one of their heritage projects where we're redoing all the heritage signs across the Shire um, I think this is our third or fourth one now so um, we do have plenty more coming up so yeah if you like what you see keep watching our page um, the next one will actually be starting next week so if you have a look through here I've already shown a few clips of it during the week but it's a pretty big one this one So we've got a bit of a battle to get through all that stuff in there, but I don't know where there's wool is away. So it's a big eater, peanut butter, so yeah, there's a considerable uh, bit more work in this one than the one we've just done, but yeah, no, we love it, so looking forward to getting stuck into it.